Mac Kids 101 here today. Someone commented on one of my videos and wanted me to show them how to um, hack, basically. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do something any malicious or bad. I'm just going to show you in how to do something on someone's computer. So, first of all, you have to be on their computer. You have to have been on their computer at some point and set the root password. So, this is really easy. When they're not around or they're in the bathroom and their computer is turned off or you have access to their computer, just boot it into single user mode and you can actually watch our video called Using Root on a Mac. I'll put that up on the screen there. Um, anyway, with using root on a Mac, you can um, set the uh, root password. So that way you have the root password, which is, root is a user on the machine, if you don't already know that. So um, just look at that video we have. You can even search for it, it'll come up. So, um, and then, now that you know the root password on their computer, you want to log in as root on the computer. So... I'm going to show you what you do on, on your friend's computer to enable this quote-unquote hacking. So um, I'm going to go on my other Mac, and I'm going to use the root user to enable this quote-unquote hacking. So wait one second. Okay, so here's my friend's computer, quote-unquote. This is actually a different one of my computers. So I'm going to go in. To uh, what's it called? I'm gonna go into System Preferences. So click the Apple up in the top left-hand corner of the screen. System Preferences there. And now we're gonna want to go into Sharing. So we click the Sharing button, and we want to make sure Remote Logon is checked. And when we're root, we just click the lock. Login is root, and then use the root password which we have set, which is long. So wait one second. Okay, so then we're going to be root on their computer if you've enabled root on their computer and logged into root on their computer. So now when you're in root, um, you want to go up into and check, make sure remote logon is checked and you want to make sure file sharing is checked as well. So both of those are checked. And um, so you want to make sure both of those are checked. So now, now that these are checked, um, you're ready to go. So file sharing and remote logon are both checked. Now that these are both checked, we have to do one more thing. So you have to figure out this computer's IP address. So in system preferences, we're going to click the show all button again. We're going to go down into network. We're just going to click advanced. Then we're going to click the TCP IP button at the top. And then right there it says IPv4 address. And then 192.168.1.101. That's their IP address on the network. So that just happens to be that this computer's IP address. And you want to do this while you're logged in as root on their computer. So you might want to write this down. So, because we're going to need to use it later. So, now we're going to close system preferences. And I'm going to go back to my computer and uh, show you how to how to connect to their computer using their IP address. So, wait one sec. Okay. So, now I'm back at my computer. I'm just going to open terminal. Here are the two things I may do. Since I know the root password on my friend's computer, and I've gotten, when I was in system preferences, I saw that thing that said the IPv whatever for thing. That's their IP address. And in this case, it was 192.168.1.101. Okay, so we're going to want to type SSH space root, and then at symbol, it's shift 2, so at and then their IP address, 192.168.1.101. Now, hit enter, and it'll say password. And that means it's asking us for the root password. And that just means it wants the root password. Now, we've set the root password on their computer, so we know what it is. In this case, it's pretty long. So, um, wait one second. Okay. So, I've just logged back 
onto my friend's computer as root. So when it says password colon, I'm just going to type their um, root password and hit enter. And if you get it wrong, it'll just say password colon again and ask you for the password again. Anyway, so now I'm logged in as root on their computer and I can type ls and do all these terminal commands. And I can even cd slash users and I can cd to their user, whatever user. And I can even type say and then hi. And on their computer, it'll say hi. So listen. My computer that I'm hacking right here is right next to me, so you're going to hear hi. Hi. Yep. Heard hi. So, that's pretty cool. Um, so, this is almost like being on a terminal on their computer. So, let's just get this clear. I enabled root on their computer. Set the root password on their computer. Logged into root on their computer. Enabled remote logon and, um, I think it was file share. Got their IP address. Back on my computer, I typed SSH space root at and then their IP address. Now, their IP address is their local IP address and it changes sometimes, but it'll only work when you're on the same network as them. So, if they have a Wi Fi network, you need to connect to that and they need to be connected to it at the exact same time for this to work. But it's really fun when you're both connected to the network. They're in the kitchen, they have no idea you've set this up on their computer and you can just connect to them and make their computer all of a sudden start swearing and they'll just be like what you can even kill stuff for instance I can do kill all terminal on my desktop and it just killed terminal on my Mac desktop it's so annoying because it just had a bunch of terminal windows open anyway so uh, <laughs> that's a remote you know remote log on it's really cool and remember, they, they can't know about root, or they you have to know the root password and have enabled this on their computer. So if you can't get access to their computer and you don't know their root password on that computer, then you just can't do this. Or, here's another thing. Right now I'm going to type exit to get out of this. Um, now I'm back on my computer. If you type SSH space and then a, and an alternative user username, like Alex at 192.168.1.101 that will connect me to my user on my desktop so it doesn't always have to be root it can anything before that at can be a user I just like typing root because yeah but now I'm logged in as root on my desktop Mac and I can type ls do all this fun stuff so yeah that's pretty cool. Um, so thanks for watching. Subscribe to MacHeads101. Email us at MacHeads101 at me.com. Um, life is short. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, goodbye.